I worked in an office, regular nine to five job. It wasn't what I had ever set out to do. It just ended up being a job I fell into and I stayed because it was easy. I told my boss that I was quitting. I said, I'm putting in my notice. I'm going to become a full-time burlesque performer. Everyone can perform burlesque if they really want to. You need to get a costume, you need to get a gimmick, and then you need to just get up on stage and have the balls to do it. I was really excited to try burlesque, but I was very, very scared to do the striptease alone on stage. My dance partner was always pushing me to be more naked and be more naked. I tend to do like really weird things. I don't go out to be political, but when people see me get on stage, it's inherently political. It's easier for people if fat ladies are funny. Burlesque makes people feel certain things, and sometimes they don't like it. It forces people to think about how repressed their lives are. It took a second to get used to the idea that my wife wanted to perform naked for rooms full of strangers. I never thought that I would be in this situation. More work than I need and being in demand as a performer. As the years go by, I wish I had something else that I could do. But I don't, at this point in my life, really have that many other options. It's a lot of fun, but I don't want to see myself working in little bars several years down the road. This is mold. Uh -huh. That's bad. Mold is bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're in the show with all these amazing people. The pressure's on. Being here, I just feel like it's this validation from the universe. When I was up there, it was like feeling sexually repressed, and then it was just like an orgasm. When I get to do burlesque, I can be sexy, I can be stupid, I can be gorgeous or ugly or funny. I can do anything I want when I get out on stage, and that's kind of magical. But really, who are we? Just some stripper from New York City.